Ella Jane Fitzgerald was born on April 25, 1917, in Newport News, Virginia, to William and Temperance Fitzgerald. However, her parents separated shortly after her birth, and Ella was left in the care of her mother. After one whole quart of brandy, like a daisy, I'm a Ella began her formal education at the age of six and was an outstanding student. Men are not a new sensation. I've done pretty look at me. I'm she and her family were Methodists and were active in the Bethany African Methodist Episcopal Church, where she attended worship services, Bible study, and Sunday school. And I feel like I'm clinging to a cloud. She entered a talent competition at the Apollo Theater in Harlem. Despite intending to dance, she decided to sing at the last minute, captivating the audience with her rendition of Judy by Hoagy Carmichael. Now you say you're lonely. Ella's breakthrough came when she joins the Chick Webb Orchestra, replacing Charlie Linton as the lead female vocalist. This marked the beginning of her professional singing career. Let's fall in love. Why shouldn't we? Love and kisses, never misses, making heaven. Ella recorded her first hit song, Love and Kisses, with the Chick Webb Orchestra. She quickly gained popularity for her clear tone, impeccable phrasing, and improvisational skills. Your perfection to affection creates a perfect Ella's rendition of the nursery rhyme, A Tisket, A Tasket, became a massive success, topping the charts and establishing her as a solo artist. This song became one of her signature tunes. Skid, I send a letter to my mommy on the way I dropped it. Following Chick Webb's death, Ella became the leader of the Chick Webb Orchestra, renaming it Ella Fitzgerald and her famous orchestra. This marked a significant milestone in her career, solidifying her status as a band leader. Ella signed a recording contract with Decca Records, marking the beginning of her solo recording career with the label. She released several successful singles and albums. What a world, what a life, I'm in love. How high the moon is the name of this song. How high the moon. Ella's career reached new heights as she performed at Carnegie Hall, one of the most prestigious venues in the United States. Her sold out concert received critical acclaim further cementing her reputation as a leading vocalist. Does it touch the stars? How high the moon? Does it reach out the light? Ella embarked on her first international tour, performing across Europe to enthusiastic audiences. Her captivating stage presence and unparalleled vocal talent earned her widespread acclaim, establishing her as a global sensation. It's Someone told someone and someone told you. Ella collaborated with legendary jazz pianist and bandleader Duke Ellington on the album Ella Fitzgerald Sings the Duke Ellington Songbook. But they couldn't hurt you, not much. Do I do I do I do I do I do I? It don't mean a thing, all you gotta do is sing. Ella made history by becoming the first African-American woman to win a Grammy Award for Best Individual Jazz Performance for her album, Ella Fitzgerald Sings the Duke Ellington Songbook. Give that rhythm everything you've got, oh, don't mean a thing if you ain't got... Ella's career flourishes as she continues to release critically acclaimed albums and perform sold-out concerts worldwide. Say it's only a paper move. Filled with jealousy when they see you out with me. I don't blame them, goodness. Ella collaborated with jazz pianist and composer Count Basie on the album Ella and Basie. The album received widespread praise for its dynamic interplay between Ella's vocals and Basie's orchestra. You're my sugar, sweet when 
you stir it up? What makes me treat you the way that I do? Ella teamed up with legendary jazz guitarist Joe Pass for the album Ella and Joe, showcasing her talent for intimate, stripped down performances. Gee, baby, ain't I good to you? Ain't got the change of a nickel. Ella won her eighth Grammy Award for Best Jazz Vocal Performance, Female, for her album, Ella Fitzgerald at the Montreux Jazz Festival. This award highlighted her enduring influence in the world of jazz music. I ain't got nothing but the blue. I don't believe in fretting or grieving, why mess around with strife? Ella received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor in the United States, in recognition of her contributions to American music and culture. Some find it pleasant, dining on pleasant, those things roll off my knife. Declare, Ma, don't upset your car when he's so Despite facing health challenges in her later years, Ella performed her final concert at New York's Carnegie Hall, bringing her illustrious career full circle. Ella Fitzgerald passed away on June 15, 1996, at the age of 79, leaving behind a towering legacy as one of the greatest vocalists in the history of American music. You saw me standing alone. Throughout her remarkable career, she recorded over 200 albums, won numerous awards and accolades, and inspired countless artists with her unparalleled talent and grace. Singing in the sycamore. Please don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel.